Forget retirement. 89-year-old Ukrainian-born Daniel Tomashuk loves to create a buzz, and he doesn't do it just by cutting hair. I am hitting on 90, Bob. With no scissors in hand, he cuts up his customers. Does it look even? The hair canal look like Highway 29 going to San Joe. Really? Crooked. And suddenly, just for his sheer pleasure, he's got his customers swinging to and... Fro. When I were rich, man. <laughs> and that right there, that it smile is why customers out. keep coming back. My first haircut with you was uh, 43 years ago. He admits not everybody likes his ditties. Some like sauerkraut, some don't. He sings in Ukrainian, German, English, French, and understands Polish, a wide array of languages he learned way back when life wasn't full of song. He was drafted into the army in World War II. Russian soldiers showed up at the hospital where he worked, and he could overhear them discuss whether they were going to take him away. He says that's when he ran into the forest and escaped. The Catholic Church brought qualified refugees like him to the U.S. for a better life. He says he remembers the day he landed here. Daniel, you're welcome to the United States. Oh, boy, because not everybody got they give me five dollar and ticket on a train. That's all money I have. Go to San Joe. Since 1959, Daniel has been cutting hair. He moved to Kansas City, raised two kids, and now works at Hank of Hair in Brookside, and has clipped out quite a cache of customers for himself. When we asked him for the name of some of his hometown bigwigs, you want millionaire or just poor sucker? He's cut hair for Miller Nichols, Jim Stowers, Chiefs and Royals players. I even have one prince from Arabia. This day, he gave Fiddler on the Roof a try. Sunrise, sunset, sunrise, sunset. That's it. <laughs> He doesn't much care if he remembers the song, though. He says what he remembers is why he still sings through life. Ever since he stepped on American soil... That was my, my happy moment. I just want to sing. Another reason we're proud to call it home. In Brookside, Amy Holly, NBC Action News.